Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome to the Irony of Gaming, and this is Counterside. Tutorial for intermediate players. Now don't worry, uh, beginner players, you could watch this video too, because this can also help you out, and you'll be able to finish the majority of the missions for the Annie event. So this is uh, my basically my main account, and I forgot that one, once the uh, the anti the what is it the anti third week mission started to release, I forgot to and I forgot to record it. <laughs> so I was just completing them, and I was like, oh wait, you know, I probably should have recorded this. But not to worry because I do have another account, which I haven't done like uh, the majority of the missions. So. I'm going to try to go like step by step explaining, you know, where to go and how to beat most of these things. So, as you can see here for the third week, on the very first day it released, I beat all of it. It's been cleared. Um, the only thing I need to beat now is just the limit fusion, which I will do. And then I'll be able to get this, um, you know, the selector for the awakens on here. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to switch over to my second account here, which is over here. Give me a second. All right. So basically what's going to happen here is I'm going to complete those missions. So let's go here. And there we go. I, I think I leveled up like a unit or something like that to get this done here. But okay, so we needed something that was called like, um, you know, perform limit break. So if you guys have watched the video, the previous videos before, or you've leveled up your units already, then you're already familiar with how the limit breaking works. So basically, you would just go to a unit and you would just pretty much limit break it right here. So let's just limit break. Boom. So this unit is now have been limit broken, which means that 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 contributes to what we were trying to do. So that contributes to the limit breaking right here. So again, like, you know, as I was telling you guys before, you know, always do your dailies and whatnot and you'll start racking up those materials that you need in order to effectively start limit breaking, you know, most of your units. And it doesn't even have to be like, you know, it doesn't even have to be units that, you know, you don't have to get one unit up there with all the limit breaking right there. Cause what you could just easily do is, let's say this unit right here needed to had needed something right here. Like you could just do that. And for, you know, something that's a lot cheaper for instance, I'm going to try and get a soldier up there instead. Oh, this soldier's done. Okay. So let's try to get this soldier up here. Let me break him. 320 right there. Okay, so let's do another one. Okay, and then we can just save it. And then we see other units here. And we're just... Just gonna... Rank them up. Now you just choose. Now you choose the ones that you want that you want to level up at the moment. Like for instance, Seo Yu, and I definitely want to get her up there. And look at that, I have like 30. Limit broke right there. Boom. Festival event done. So we just go back here, and look at that. We got the five done. Now the world map is something that's really interesting. So basically the world map is like what I was telling you guys before. You go into, oh, what's this one that's rejected? Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, so basically <clears throat> what you'll do is that, you know, you'll put your units out here for like, you know, a certain amount of time, like I was saying before, and it's best to put it for the full eight hours just so you can get the maximum set of a, the maximum set of the time. So I'll just do this. Overseas is finish. Office expert. Oh, look, we got the Kraken stuff. And and he's done. You see that? So you just so what what you all you got to do is just go to the highest one. 
Let's go for the, go for the highest ones. And you you you're pretty much like just do that for about like a day or two, or maybe oh, maybe three possibly, and just do that. And, and what'll happen is once these are all complete, you'll pretty much get it done, just like that. So we just completed it. Let's go back to the anniversary, and there you go. There you go. We ended up finishing this one now, 2,400 minutes. So, oh, hold on, excuse me. I just finished. I just had uh, finished eating, so I'm just like burping like crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so now the clear simulations. What I've been telling you guys before, right? Every every single day that when you sign in and there's and it's been, uh, you know, do the reset. Boom. Just go to your simulate, do your simulations. That's it. And if you completed it, you can just easily do the skip function for it. Boom. Easy. Now, if anything, right, like I was saying before, if you want to try and speed up the process, which you don't really need to speed up the process, but if you want it to, you could always just save up on your simulation training permits and you could just use that and that can also contribute to what you want to do from there but i suggest you just save these just for rainy days like when you know we get collab events or you have any events like this but if you've been staying on top of you know farming your accounts of you know farming for your account effectively this will just only increase and you will have no need to really use these type of material this type of material so what happens here now is so as you just naturally play the game you're, you're just going to you're gonna naturally start clearing this easy for the first week now for the for the um the raids right all you got to do right is just go into go into here for the world map you can do your own raids or you just have your friends finish it but you need to participate in one. So all you got to do is go to the explore, the exploration status and you just go into the participations. Or let me see. OK, yeah. So if you get more partners and stuff and all of that, your um, your friends, well, the exploration status, your friends are going to show up here and your guild members are going to show up here and it, it's always random. So sometimes you'll get like a set of different people on there when you have partners. This account, I don't really think I have like a lot of partners on this one. I'm not sure if I do. I would have to like increase my partner count on this. But when that happens, you could just do that. Or what you could do is that you can you can go into these raids that you've unlocked for yourself for um you know you could do that twice so you can just easy you can easily finish like right now i can do like just these by myself and i can just easily clear those missions on there now for now with the with the eternium you guys already know how this works here just keep doing your farming spend as much of your etern spend your eternium effectively until you can't spend any more of it you know so spend it on missions that you want to farm or if you want to do more story and whatnot and ev and eventually you just you're just gonna naturally spend 350 eternium like there's <laughs> like you don't really have to think about it like i'm not even thinking about it at all and i've already reached like 166k of eternium you know, you're just going to get stuff. <laughs> it, it's just going to naturally increase as you play the game. Now, the second week is a bit more interesting because now you've list, so you've beaten episode five. You guys are intermediate players now. So what will happen now is that you have access to, to the Shadow Palace. Now, now, for the Quantum Cord Crystals, you just have to use them for stuff, which... This is used to go into the palace. So as you can see right here, each day, this replenishes up by one. Each day. 
So every time the, every time it, the reset happens, this starts to increase until it reaches to the limit of seven. Now, there's something really also important about this too, which I will get get back to it. But all you gotta do is just use this to attack the palace, and you've used that up for one, which means that that'll contribute to the mission. So now let's go to week two here. Now crafting the gear. What I would recommend is that just for the sake of just finishing the mission, I would try to use the let the most the the less amount of resources that it needs to build this gear. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna do that. Gives me the least amount. <laughs> And it's just more efficient that way. So I'm going to craft that. 15. Boom. Anniversary. Done. Easy. Now, you don't really have to worry too much because you're going to have those resources when you're, you know, when you, when you were naturally playing through the game. And, you know, when you're doing, like, your farming and stuff. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the second week here. Oh, we have to enhance the gear now. now. Now, this is what's the interesting part, right? So, guess what? This is the most, this is one of the easiest things that you could do. Because guess what? The fodder gear that we just got, right? Well, we'll just go here. Do auto select. And, oh, so they're still doing that. Okay, hold on. We don't want to use those yet. <laughs> so, we just do these. Just, you know, take all the... All the fodder gear that you ended up getting. Boom. And I think we gotta do like 30, right? So let's just. We'll just select these. Boom. Any mission done. Okay, so let's see. What else do we gotta do? Go to the second week here. We already know about the con the quantum uh, cords. Ah, yes, the dives. So with the dives, all you got to do is just go through here. That little circle right here when you go into the world map, just click into here to the dive depths. And this is where you can do your dives. Now, this will start to increase by two each day. So every time the reset happens, you get two every time until the limit of 10 right so we need to get about i think what 1500 of those now we could just start the dive and just just keep going through here or we just go to the ones that we've already completed and you just do 10. anniversary done so we got about 400 on that so let's see Yep, three dives. Now, if you wanted to, we could just do three dives. But now, the reason why I did all ten is because of this. So, we need to build up more of the imaginary cores, and we have to at least use 1,500. So, each day, we could just, you know, keep farming the ones that we've already finished or continue to try and clear the ones that we've already done. Now, what I would recommend is, like, you know, if you're super confident that you can beat more of the dive missions then go ahead however the safest route to take is to just clear just skip clear the ones that you've already done and then slowly start building that up and as you can see i was like on level nine level nine gives you about 420 of the um of the imaginary cores you could just easily do that and you just do that a few times because guess what, guys? You only got we, we got 13 days, plenty of time, plenty of time to even reach that. So it's up to you. Now let's see what else do we got. We got week two, right? So oh yeah, so all the business cards. Now this is what I was saying to you guys before in the tutorial video. Make sure that this is finished because this can easily sneak lock you um, within the game. So you know, just don't forget. 
So go here, interact, boom, done. Easy. Anniversary done for that mission. So then we could just go here. Perform a fusion, a limit fusion once. So the limit fusion is, it's kind of like the, uh, it's kind of like the limit break. But the only difference is that you're going to break beyond 100. And how to do that, you need to use fusion cores. Now, if you want to get the unit all the way up to 110, that takes about 75 of the fusion cores. So in case of this mission here, all we're going to do is, do this. so it costs like 15, all we got to do is just do this. Boom. Done. Now, if you're looking for ways to get more of these fusion cores, you can always craft them at the workshop. You can get them in the shops. And you can get them in the, um, you can get them in shops of the uh, side stories, the substreams. You can do that. And they'll give you a lot. See, they give you five here, five there, five there. And there's a lot of substream missions because each substream has a shop. For example, we could just click into here and oh, I don't think there's going to let us do that. Right. So let's go into the shop real quick. And you see, you see, you'll have something right here called substreams. Look at that. All of these materials that you can get just by farming within that specific substream story and you'll get their currency so each substream have their has their own currency so there's a lot to do in the game this is like what I was telling you guys before before in the beginning there's a lot of content in this game and there are many different routes that you can take to, to help progress your account all the materials that you could need to rank start ranking up See, there's like the S, um, the SAPT cores, but you get access to all of these when beating the substream. Um, no, no, when beating the main episodes. So you begin to start unlocking these as you progress through the main episodes, which right now we are at episode 11. And we're going to get 12 soon. But as you beat all of the mainstream stories, you'll have access to all of these, all of these things in the shop and there's a lot of them like there is a lot <laughs> this game is amazing when it comes to story because it's it's a lot you know you get a lot of stuff <laughs> so yeah so so you know just so you know just make sure you um you know you get the chance to do those and don't forget but also too i didn't want to go here let's go to the workshop you can also craft your fusion cores there we go see you can use your apt cores to do this now what i would say is if you want to start crafting cores and start using these apt cores i would use these as a last resort like if you had no other way to get fusion cores i would just use i would use these then as a last resort but if you are patient if you're just if you're really patient enough or whatnot and you just like oh you know it's not really a big deal right now then you can use these as the currency for your fusion cores <sighs> And you could get a lot of these through the world map. And even by clicking on these, you could get them through the world map and you can get them through the shops and you can get them through the business cards. So you're just going to click on the material and they'll tell you exactly where you can go to um, to purchase these. And as you can see, a lot of the substream missions have a lot of these. But that's how you get your cores, and that's how you do the fusion limit break. And as you can see here, boom, perform the limit fusion once, which we did. We used it on uh, Sail Yun, Awaken Sail Yun. So what's going to happen here is 
what's this use the quantum oh yeah they use the quantum i'll tell you how to do those ah yes perform the 10 gauntlets and okay so this is basically doing pvp you guys have seen me do this before within like close to the i think what to the part eight or part nine of the tutorial on getting through the main story of the you know the first five chapters of it um you just pretty much got to go to pvp you just got to play either strategy or rank that's all you got to do you know you could just run wild with this oh oh yeah and then every sunday yeah they give you the rewards and stuff but yeah so you just do one of these if you want or you just go to rank and you just do one of those and you'll be set now for the third week third week is going to be i would think i would say a little bit challenging now why do i say this is because well it's not the like the whole credit system thing because with the credits you can easily you can easily spend the credits right here because i think that the limit is about three million yeah three you gotta spend three million credits but as you can see before you spend a lot in leveling up your units so three billion is like nothing that's like that's like pocket change right there in this game <laughs> but what i was saying too is that the imaginary cores right so the imaginary cores are showing up here as you can see i have been farming a lot before in the past with the second the second account however you saw that we got about 420 when we did like nine of them like when we did a skip on the ninth dive so you could just easily just keep doing that several times on here and then what you can do is like what i suggest is probably get them get this maybe you could just do that get three boom done And as you can see, we got the 1500 imaginary cores here. Now, to use 100 ownerless business cards. Now, this is an this is an interesting one here because in order to be able to get these type of cards, you have to farm. You have to um, you gotta roll, right? Um, in order to get more units. However, no, you get that's only one of the things that you can do. You can roll to get more units so that you can burn them which is pretty much like dismissing them so you dismiss them and you get that number of business cards from here right now here's one thing if you're going to take the route of rolling you remember what i was telling you guys about before when you go into the dorm system you can go into the dorm system and you could do the interact and you do accept all business cards when you do that that determines on how many partners you have so i encourage you guys to just send as many partner um invites as much as you can and get as many partners as you can because the limit when you reach that limit or you have enough partners you'll the limit of it is 500 so that's 10 free rolls every single day each day, that's over. That's 500 of the of the green currency, which I will show you right here. Right here. So you get the material right here, and boom, you get 10. So it, the 10 costs 500. So every day, that's a that's free 10 units right there that you can get. And then what'll happen? Well, you just go into the management section. To go to the trash can area, auto select. There you have it. And just to show you. Um Well, for example, let me uh let me go here and do that. There we go. See? We got the tank here, and look at that. He selected to be discarded. Now, if you wanted to do the 
other units, let's say just that for SR, you can do that. But right now he's the only unit that uh he's the only he's the only unit that you know that can be burned right now. But as he could be burned, look at that, that's like ten right there. So yeah, you could just so each day just keep doing that and you'll be able to acquire what you need from that. So then <clears throat> Um, yeah, so you could just do that and you start getting the black card, the black uh, business cards for that. So this is why I was saying like, you know, it's very important to get a lot of partners on here, like especially for this, like, like this account, um, this account right here, I need to get more, I have to get more friends on here. As you can see, I like, yeah, because there's a lot of, <laughs> I haven't been on this account in such a long time, so there's probably a lot of people who haven't been playing the game in a while. So I have to, I have to reorganize my partner list and I got to start removing a bunch of people again and then just start sending more invites. <laughs> I got to send more invites and stuff. But uh, yeah, anyways, the... The next mission here. So we have to so we have to spend the black cards, right? The uh, business cards. So Oh, wait, shops right here. 성능은 몰라도 튼튼한 건 확실해요. 안심하고 구입하세요. All right. And then what you could do, right? Is that if you want, you could just do this and boom, spend 100. Easy. 정식 아르바이트생이 되겠어요. I'm I'm going to get these though. So you always buy this from the shop too, and you always get your 10. Or you could just buy the lifetime contract. But, yeah. Now, let's see, what was the next one? For the third week. Okay, so we gotta dismiss 30 employees, which we'll be able to do eventually. Um, oh, use 30 set binaries. So the 30 set binaries is basically a leveling currency. So you can select a, like, let's say we have something like this or, hmm, for instance, let's see what we're going to use. Okay, so this is what we'll do. We'll use this. <clears throat> so basically the set binaries allows you it's a currency that allows you to change the set bonus of your gear set so whichever one that you want to change it'll change it at random now be careful with this and use this sparingly because let's say let's say for instance right which is possible if you it, it's very random but there is there is a chance that you can you can end up with the same exact set bonus so it, that that is possible <laughs> so just be aware of that but yeah let's do this three times because we got to spend 30 right so we got to do three times and boom and we could just keep that there so we just finished it now there was one that said about there, there, there was one that was talking about the tuning one so let's go here for the third week and there you go we just finished the set binaries now unfortunately we can't farm the set binaries like that like as like as efficiently as we can with the tuning binaries but let's say, for instance, you were having trouble with, you know, the set binaries, right? Let's say, okay, where would I even go to even get this? Well, let's say this. If you were, if you were being like efficient with your account before, like in the beginning, um, I can, I can show you the other account later on. But um, 
if you have let's say you have like a thousand or so right now this is only as a last resort but what you could do is I wonder is it in this one no shadow palace Oh, yeah, so the convenience goods. So what you could do as a last resort, you could always just do that. And you could spend that 1,000 and you'll end up getting that 30. Easy, no problem. And then you could just start using that to you know, change your gear set and whatnot. So you could do that, if anything. Now, another another way to do this too is there are shops that can let me see nice gear yeah see right here too so if you did the danger clothes you could do this too and you could end up getting your 30 right there and all you gotta do is just pretty much beat it like beat the danger clothes like once and you have you'll have more than enough of these to get this now honestly in my opinion i would just save this up why because you can get all of this gear i would save all that you can to get, unlock all of this because that you know it's it's the most effective way to do that Now, there are other methods as well. So let me go into here real quick. All you gotta do is just click onto that and it'll tell you exactly what other places that you can go. And again, you can get it through the substream missions. And there's, so far, there's a lot of them right now. So you can, so you can easily get this up to 30. Through the regular shop, the um, the danger clothes, and um, you know the substream missions. Gear growth support fifty. What is that one? Oh, okay, yeah, that's the uh, <clears throat> danger clothes one. as a single package and oh yeah also too you can also get it through the shadow palace the shadow palace um store so you can get about 50 of those so you can so if you get enough of the shadow palace fragments you can then easily start to acquire the binaries and even the tuning binaries as well So yeah, there's a, there's a few ways to acquire these things. Now, for the tuning binaries, at least, um, the tuning binaries, at least, you can farm these each day. You can do it. So that's a that's a plus with that. The um, the tuning binaries, you guys. So we got to use about sixty of those, right? Now, oh, here's what you could do. Right? Let's say like you didn't have any of those. What you could do is that you could just go into operations and sometimes this will appear so you can even, so you can get more of these but this is a level 110 mission and it does have like a little bit of a gimmick like these type of missions they got gimmicks but if you can get past it and complete all three like get all three medals you could just easily skip this every you could do the skip uh completion mission and you could just start farming these easy <coughs> every time it gets released now there is another way to get it too because you can easily just go into the growth and go into well no no go into the uh, request section with the supply with the supply operation and you can go all the way to covert ops the covert ops you can farm these this is where you go to farm each day you can farm these So yeah, 
you can always go there. Now, we have to use about 60 of these, right? So basically what you'll do is that you'll go into the gear tuning. You'll select the gear that you want. I might change this one to... I might change it to skill haste. Let me see if I can change this to skill haste. Oh, we already finished it. Let's do one more. Okay. It, it didn't work. <laughs> Alright, so I'll just leave that alone for now. But, yeah, as you can see, boom. Easy. 60 right there. <coughs> now, of course, for some of you, it may take a little bit of time. But also, too, the game... They all, the game also offers a lot of rewards with, you know, the attendance. Um, oh, actually, this attendance, they don't really give you anything on here. Oh, wait, they do. Right here. Yeah, see? But, I mean, that's a long stretch from there. So, yeah, just, just stick with the, the farming and possibly... And, Possibly the shops too. You can use the shops to um, also get this. The substream shops. <clears throat> and again, you could just go into the storage, click on this, and they'll show you everything that you need for this. And yeah, you can you can get this from substream shops from some of the shops. So you can easily be able to get that 60 and then spend it on that. Whew. Okay, let's see. So we go here. Go to week three. Okay. The shadow fragments. I'm going to save this one for last. So what we can do here now is the 30 conversions, right? So the conversion approvals. The conversion approvals are basically used for the crafting. They're used to uh, craft like um, items like the ship materials. You can use those to start building up your ship materials and do transfers and all of that. You know, you're, you're basically exchanging these type of materials for something else now i rarely use this like you know like changing the materials from here and i mean you could do it but maybe you could probably use that as maybe as a last resort and then just start farming these type of things but it's i mean it's completely up to you um I'm sure that there's like a, a an effective way of farming a lot of these materials here. Um, I, I have to like fiddle around with it a little bit more. But this is this is an area which you can go to where you can just use these to start converting things, or you can go to the supplies, which I think this is a lot better. This is a lot better to use because you can just start you know using exchange materials of this type of stuff like. Let's say you were farming a whole bunch of your um, high appraisals, which you already now know that you get a ridiculous amount of it, which is very generous. <laughs> very generous of the game to do that. And then you could just simply use this to start converting, converting things into more. And you could have these. Now, how would you go about getting these? Well, you can go in, you could go into the supply operations. The supply operations give you a lot of these. You can even go into the shops the world map and the substreams the substreams they also give you a nice amount of these now for me i normally just go to the operations stuff like the supply operations because you could just farm you could farm a whole bunch of these almost as much as you want you know like we can go let's just go here and then we could just skip in and boom we could just do a whole bunch of these Actually, I want to do a few of these, actually. Do about 49. 
And yeah, see, you get about a you know few hundred of these. Well, you get about over a hundred. And not to mention, you'll get some more appraisals. And you'll get two million. Yep. <laughs> so you're getting you get a, a nice amount of credits and a nice amount of these um nice little uh, approval stuff. The conversion approvals. Hey wait, now what were we supposed to do with this though? We were supposed to we were supposed to spend it, right? Yeah, we gotta use about 30 of these. So yeah, let's see. What are we gonna do about that? We gotta use 30. We'll just do that. Oh wait, oh that's like 4,200. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll go to the lower one first. Yeah. We'll... Oh, I see. Oh wow. Let me see something real quick. Um. Hmm. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. We could just... Let's see. Uh, we could increase a little bit of this for five. Then we'll do about... Hmm. 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 Um, we'll do another, yeah, we'll do 20. Yeah, we'll do 20. All right, so we'll get a thousand. All right, so we have a thousand of these now. Okay. All right, yeah, that's done. Yeah, so you could just, you could, um, yes, yeah, so you could just, like, use that effectively this way. Okay, so we're going to go to the third week here. Oh, now use lifetime contract. So basically the lifetime contract is something that would be like it. it so there's like a loyalty system in the game, right? And basically what it does is that when your loyalty is up there and it reaches max loyalty, basically all the following effects like all the stats of the of the unit increases by two percent <coughs> now the way this works is that let's say you lose missions if you're constantly losing like you know missions or even i think i think even in gauntlets as well every time you lose and even in raids the um, the gauntlet, I, yeah, I, I do think that the, that also in the it happens in the gauntlet as well. But every time you lose, you begin to lose you, you begin to lose loyalty with your units over time. So it depends on how many times you're losing, and you know sometimes it'll go down by one and whatnot. So basically, what happens is this contract, the lifetime contract, prevents that from happening. So if they have a lifetime contract. You can pretty much, um, you can pretty much like nullify the that effect or where they lose loyalty. So you'll never lose loyalty with that unit ever, and you'll be they'll be able to keep that two percent. So we're gonna use that lifetime contract. I'll have you guys, uh, <laughs> you guys can look at that yourselves with that one. Don't want to ruin anything for you guys. <laughs> but, yeah, you could just do that. And you already know where to get those contracts to. 
because I showed you you could just use the the business cards to um, to get those now the thing is though it takes about I think a month or so I think yeah it takes about a month to like if you're gonna go down the business card route it'll take about a month <sighs> But if anything, if you need more contracts, you could always just use the quartz to get that. Although I although I would only use that as a last resort because you guys now know you guys know like, you know, um how valuable the quartz are. Because quartz are very valuable in this game. You can use them for a lot of extensive farming for materials and stuff. But yeah, as you can see here, since we bought it, right, and yeah, see, it's like monthly. So right now we're we're like in we we're like basically at the end of August, so that's like almost the end of the month. So this is going to reset soon. So then we'll be able to purchase this again. But yeah, as you can see, it's like monthly, while the rest of these are about weekly. Oh yeah, too. You could do this. You could purchase these too. However, I wouldn't recommend like the ones that that don't have a limit. I wouldn't really purchase these. I mean, you could, but it would have to be like a a really really last resort because these you don't even need. You don't need to use any of these. Like like you don't need to um you don't need to use the business cards to get any of these. Why? Because you can easily farm a huge amount of these already because the supply operations you could just simply do that and you can get a, a whole bunch of these even even when it's random you just you are able to get enough of these and the game is always rewarding you with a whole bunch of a whole bunch of materials every time just for signing in and you get a huge amount of these like i have 18 of these already <coughs> and then i also have like the 30 apts and we got 10 of those from the business um, cards. Okay, so now let's see. Yeah, see, as you can see, we've already, like, completed, like, a majority of these already. So, it, yeah, so it, it's like, you know, it's... it's you know, there's a few of them, a few of the things that we do need to do. Like, we had to craft, like, what, 30 times of this stuff? Which, I, I've showed you guys what to do with that. But, yeah, we completed that. And let's complete these. Oh, got the 3 million done. Look, see, and then as we was just, just doing natural, like, just naturally playing the game, we immediately reached 3 million. <laughs> okay, so, now... Now you, you guys got the gist of how this work, how this works, and where to go. Now here's the thing with this one. I think that out of all of the missions here, this one might be the most difficult to do. Because this is like end game. This is an end game mission. And you need to use a hundred of the shadow fragments. So here's what it is right so in order to get these like more of these fragments you have to go to the shadow palace <clears throat> now the shadow palace it's it is a pretty difficult um it's a pretty difficult stage to to go through as you know when you're an intermediate for some intermediate players and for beginners now what you'll have to do is that You'll go into here and then you'll activate this, right? So now there's a series that you have to go through, like a series of rooms. And each time you beat these rooms, you get these rewards. And the rewards go a little bit higher, I, th I believe, when you do that. Now, when you beat the first one, you get 12 every time. So we're going to try and do a little test run with this. So... First off, like of anything, make sure you get your Hilda leveled up. 
you don't have to necessarily get her to 110 but it's very important that you level up your hilda Hild your, your hilda must be completed with this stuff um the skills you could get it you could get this about like three you could get her skills up to at least three i haven't really done anything with her ultimate but these are what you want above all else you want to get three and three now you can go higher if you have the resources to do this you can go higher and then whatever awaken that you did get from your randomizer it'd be nice to rank them up as well now the best thing that i can recommend for it because like this unit right here she's about like you know almost complete but the best the what i would recommend you guys do is that try to get as many level 100 um units level 100 units as possible um as you can see the game does have some of its gimmicks in this uh shadow palace mode so right now the strikers are banned so i can't use any strikers so i have to use whatever else is available to me now i have a few units that is still not fully leveled up but they can they can uh at least do they can at least do the job for now so let's let's test this out <clears throat> But yeah, it's very important. Level up your Hilda. Make sure she's uh, she's finished with the like the limit break. Now, hey, hey, you probably could get away with just having uh, you know uh, four four stars with her. But as you can see, she's strong enough to to hold them back for now. And then you can use your other awaken to start taking care of the other enemies. This will quickly, this will quickly deal with Jushiu. And then, and then as I was saying before, you have your Yang. And then you have your Chinatsu. So they can act as really good supports for Hilda. And Hilda will just annihilate them right here. While, you know, whatever, while your other Awaken that you get is there for support. <laughs> Now, be mindful about this too, that like fights like these, um, it can be, it can be RNG a little bit, just a little bit, but if your units are like really powerful, it, it wouldn't really even matter. But you, as you can see, I got 12 out of that, right? So let's, now we could try this too, right? Now here's the thing. So we got so we get 12 every single time we beat that one mission right and right now it's about 13 days or so so a little bit so let's say if you will do this each day which you know if you if you're in that position to do so please do this each day beat it at least once because once a day this starts to replenish and the issue with this is that if you lose in this shadow palace and you haven't cleared any of them you're not going to get the you're not going to get any type of reward from this and not only that but this ends up being wasted so you definitely want to make sure that you get your awakened hilda up because she can get you through that first level and all you really need to do is just beat that first level now if you can go higher than that for this i recommend that you do try to get higher like past the more of these rooms in this first part because doing like clearing more of these it will only give you more of the fragments <coughs> which allows you to which allows you to you know use more of it which then helps you to clear that that 100 uh shadow fragments mission so this is gonna definitely be tough this is an end game mission um as you can see here i don't have most of my i don't have most of my units leveled up from there from that last fight and i don't have i don't necessarily have that much of the best gear right now but i do have some of it for you know some of the units here by playing pvp and i was getting these maze gear and then the free and then there's the free stuff that they were given before now this second account this second account was created before a while back 
during the last Annie that we had before. Uh, I think it was also with a collab with the Code Geass, I think. <coughs> but yeah, you can see it's like I still have, you know, pretty weak gear. Um. Now this one's a little tricky. No, I'll do that. Um, no, I'll put her there, and yeah, we'll we'll see we'll we'll see what happens. But yeah, each one of these rooms, they each have like a gimmick to them. Yeah, because like she tends to run at the ship. <coughs> yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to beat them in time before the siege unit gets in the way. Oh, okay. So it looks like we might be able to do this. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we, we, we won that time. Nice. <clears throat> yeah, just like, like if you could beat it once or even twice, like, you know, or even beat it twice, so we got 12 out of that, that, that will be fantastic for you because that means that you can clear, you can clear these each day and this will only contribute to 100 very easily. Oh, so rangers are banned this time. Okay, so we'll just do this. Put Hilda. We'll put Lynn on here. Um, we'll use Eve. We'll put Eve in here. We'll use Yang, Arius, or Eris. Um, as you can see too, I don't have a lot of units that were leveled up, but we will try to power through this. And if anything, I think that this account has less leveled up units than than the uh, than the third account. This this account might be less efficient, maybe, maybe, because I do have a lot of awakens. Yeah. Oh, and also too, <clears throat> this is why I was telling you too to get the Enterprise because the Enterprise is like your go-to ship to get past the you know most of the content Oh, I don't even know what was that. <laughs> Uh oh, I probably should have put a uh, a healer to that. Because <clears throat> Hilda's having trouble. Maybe Eve could help? Oh, 
Okay, well, it looks like things are going pretty well. Yeah, as you can see, guys, having Shifuyu on your team, and this is why I was recommending that you get Shifuyu, and and this is why it's like you know you definitely want to level up your Hilda because Hilda will get you through a lot of tough situations. This is like phenomenal that this is happening right now. Okay, so I need 25 for this one. Yeah, but I, I'll, I'll probably do the rest of that later on. But as you can see, we ended up getting 49 of that. And basically what happens is all you got to do is just go, just go back to the shop when you have enough. <laughs> and you just spend, you know, you just spend a few. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna get this first. Yeah. So yeah, we'll just spend a little bit of that, and then uh, each day we'll just keep spending the um, we'll keep spending the materials that we need for that. But yeah, I think that 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 one is going to, to uh, definitely be the most challenging. But I recommend that you just you know try to love try to level up your units to level 100 as many as many of them as you can and try to get their skills to at least three or four and you should be fine but your hilda you want her passive and her special to at least three and possibly her basic you may not need to level up her basic but i just leveled it up to three just in case and as you guys can see she was she was holding her own and we had our supports with us we had arius with us and you know we had shifuyu shifuyu was playing a really good part on that and then we started using the awakens that we did have and you got you guys at this point as intermediate players you guys are definitely gonna have you know two awakens from this <clears throat> But yeah, as you can see, from here, I've I've completed just, you know, almost the majority of this stuff. And the second week we gotta I gotta do a little bit more on this, which is really not a problem. That's like super easy. You guys already know what to do with it with the gauntlets, but um Oh yeah, and also too, you, you see that I had because I activated the material to go and, ta and attack the Shadow Palace and it ends up using that once. So you gotta use this about three times and you'll get this completed. We've got simulations here, and yeah. And as you can see here, this is like my consortium right here for the second account. Um, you know, if anybody wants to join a consortium to help, you know, uh, get more materials to help them to help their accounts out with this, you guys can feel free to join this um, consortium if you want. Um, all I ask is that you know, <laughs> just to you know, be active. Because after a certain amount of days, if you're not active, then, you know, you're going to have to free up some spots. <laughs> but, yeah, right here for the exchange. And then, you know, this is, and this is my main account right here. This is our, uh, this is my main guild right here that I have. Um, we still have plenty of slots open. We have plenty of spots open for everybody. You know, if people want to join in there, just again, just be active. And uh, yeah, you should be all set. Um, but yeah, I hope this was able to help you guys out with how to clear most of these missions here. And actually, hold on. want to do something real quick. Try to... I never could decide... Um... I never could decide which one I wanted to rank up to 110. Okay, let me go into the filter. Uh oh.
Oh, you know what? I know who I wanted to level. Um, <clears throat> we'll start with Neil for now because of her Eternium. Yeah, I'll do that for now. Okay, so we got our fusion done. And boom, there you have it. All the event missions are done. Oh, there is one thing that I did want to show you guys as well. Um, there was something I did want to show you guys. Just one second. <clears throat> Have to load this back up again. The, um, what's it called? The emulator. <clears throat> All right, so let me log out of this one, and we're going to sign in to the third account, the one that you guys are all familiar with. <laughs> okay, so this is what I was saying before. If you guys were being, in, uh, you know, efficient with what you were doing, you know, and getting to episode five, you would have, you'll probably still have uh, a nice amount of courts still. From the attendances and the missions that you were completing, and you can pretty much get that done from there. And then again, for this account, I would have to, um, you know, do a few more things here and there, which shouldn't be a problem, but... <clears throat> Now, there was one other thing that I did forget to, uh, that I wanted to say for last as well. So, um, oh, yes, the ship. So, yeah, the ship. Now, before you do anything right here, now, I still recommend that you get the Enterprise ship because it's just a, it's just a all around good ship to use. For you know, for PvP and for PVE, and but also there's also one thing too, that where is it? Are they? Oh wait, okay, there it is. So this ship right here, um, this ship. So this ship is can only be unlocked if you beat the dive fifty. So if you have like a soldier build. Or so, like if you if you have like you know soldiers or anything like that, and you're like maining like soldier units, this is a ship that can increase you know soldier unit stats, and um, it's it's pretty good at PvP though it gets a lot it do get a lot of bans on the global server, but yeah, but if anything, I still I still highly re recommend that you get the Enterprise ship right here. But I just thought I'd let you guys know that the Matador ship it does increase like soldier stats and it also and also the only way to get this ship to even build it you have to beat die 50 which die 50 is also like you know end game stuff and yeah it's pretty challenging to do so if you didn't want to do like you know if you didn't want to go through that you know all that challenge and all that stuff you could just select it here with this ship but Still, I highly recommend the Enterprise ship because it 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 just it gets you through a lot of content, and then any other ship that you want, you can then you know start working towards getting those. <clears throat> but that was pretty much what I wanted to say about that. But also, to hold on, let me again, let me uh, speaking of that, let me get my Enterprise ship because this account is going to be very efficient with this ship. All right, there you go.
and yeah that was pretty much what I wanted to show you from there I'm gonna close that and if anything let me let me show you the ship I'm going the wrong way um, oh right here yeah the assault ship right here so yeah, I see it increases ally soldiers attacks by 1% for every 1% of HP they lose. Nullify, uh, nullifies um, debuffs cast on ally mechs. So this, you know, this, um, this nullifies a lot of effects on the uh, mechs as well. Yeah, it's a, it's an all around interesting ship and you, you have to beat dive 50 to um to be able to unlock the permission to build the ship but yeah that, that that's what i wanted to show you guys before you you know if you haven't used your your uh, selector yet but yeah I, I still you know for intermediate players and um you know new players i still recommend that you get the enterprise because it's just it's just an all-around great ship to have but yeah i um but that's it for this uh, intermediate tutorial on the Annie missions. But uh, yeah, if you thought this video was helpful and you found it useful, um, feel free to leave a like. And if you didn't uh, find it useful at all, then you know feel free to leave a dislike. But uh, yeah, that's it. Stay chill, guys. And remember, don't fear the Reaper.